Hello and welcome to this tutorial and in this tutorial we'll learn how we could create our own thread so as to avoid avoid the crash of an application so in the previous tutorial what we have done is that we have purposely made the application to crash and we were successful in crashing the application but in this tutorial we are going to make the use of threads and we want to make our application run more efficiently without crashing So if you have a look at this console right here, you could see that after running the application on the emulator, we got this errors like uh, the application may be doing too much work on its, on its main thread. This error or this statement here specif specifies that we had created a lot of load on our main thread. So in this tutorial, what we are going to do is that apart from the main thread, we will be having one more thread which is going to have this code right here and it is going to execute it on another thread and on our main thread, we are going to have this text view or the basic process which we want to execute. So in that case, our application won't crash. So now let's go ahead and learn how to create a new thread. So you need to go into your main activity.java class and the first thing which you will need to do is that you need to create a runnable interface and a runnable interface is nothing but it is going to contain the code which we want to execute inside the other thread so we go right here inside the click my button and we create a runnable interface so we type runnable and let's name this as r so we type runnable r equals new runnable and it is automatically going to add some code in it for us but make sure that you have a semicolon right here or else it is going to give you an error and as you could see there is this public void run and this is basically going to contain the code which we want to run so if we go down here as you could see this is the code this is the code which we want to execute in our new thread so we simply cut this we go inside the run and we paste it over here. So now once we are done with this, we have successfully created the runnable interface. Now the next thing which we need to do is that we need to create an actual thread and we need to start a new thread so that this bit of code right here is going to get executed. So we go down here and we type thread and let's name this thread as my thread equals new thread and now once we have this we go ahead and start this thread so the simple method to start the thread would be type in my thread and use the start method so we simply give a dot operator and we type start so once this is done our thread is going to start now once this is done the next thing which you need to do is that uh, you cannot you have this piece of code right here this or this block of code right here which you need to execute you need to make sure that you don't cut and paste this code inside this runnable and that is because the code inside the runnable is going to get executed in the background and we cannot stick in the code inside this and we cannot use this code inside this and that is because this code is related to our interface and that is it has the my text it has a button so instead of uh, just cutting and pasting the code here we create a new thing which is called as an handler and the handler is going to actually contain this code so in order to create a handler we go right here inside the main activity and we create a handler so we type handler and let's name this as handler equals new handler and once we have this handler the next thing which we need to do is that we need to import the handler so we type import android dot os dot handler and we also import a message so we type import android dot os dot message now as you could see we already have a handler imported over here so we delete this handler and that is because we will import the handler from the android.os package so there are basically two handlers and the one which we want is going to lie in the android.os.handler package now once we have the handle with us the next thing which we do is that we add override methods to it so we tie so we press alter insert to use code completion we click on this override methods right here and we are going to select this handle message method 
and this handle right here is going to actually lie inside your main thread or the main or the by default thread which is created during the execution so now in the main thread we want to stick in this code right here which is the code which we use to change the text view so we simply cut this code go inside the handler we delete this code right here and we paste the code which we have just dragged from here so once this is done we are done with creating the handler now the next thing which we need to do is that we need to call this handler so we go inside this click my button right over here and we go exactly here in the run method or the public void run so we go exactly here and we call the handler method and send an empty message to it so we type handler dot send empty message and pass in zero to it now once this is done we are done with the code so now let's check how our application performs when we use the thread so before running the application let's go ahead and revise the things which we have done once again so basically what we have done is that uh, instead of having the single path of execution or having a single thread which is our main thread we have created our new thread and we have created our new thread by introducing the runnable interface so this is our runnable interface right here and inside the runnable interface we have create or we have pasted the code which we want to execute on a new thread now once the runnable interface is set the next thing which we did was that we have created this thread right here and one thing which we forgot is that whenever we are creating this thread right here we need to pass in the runnable interface object over here so inside this new thread we pass in r and that is because r is basically our runnable interface object now once we pass this into this function right here which is creating a new thread we simply go ahead and start this thread and it is going to start a new thread for us which is going to be completely separate from the main thread which we have created now one more thing which you'll need to remember is that this code right here which was earlier present over here should actually not be present inside the new thread and that is because we are going to make it run our, on our main thread so basically we have currently two paths of execution the first path is going to be this wait function right here which is going to be executed on a new thread and this function is basically going to get executed on our main thread or the default thread which our application is going to create so we stick the code inside the handle message or the handler and the handler is going to get attached with the main thread which we are executing so now once we are done with the code we save it and we execute it on our emulator now as you could see our application is up and running on the emulator and we have the text here hello and we have a button click me so we simply click it and we could click it multiple number of times unlike the previous case so we could click this button a multiple number of times and your application is not going to crash so Basically that's how we use thread in order to make our application more efficient and we make it to run various processes without interfering with each other so that each process gets executed much in a much more smoother manner and we are able to execute multiple processes at once. So basically the major application of threads is while you are creating a multiple process application like games so while you are playing games multiple processes are getting executed they are running in the background but we won't be able to see them so that's how you create a basic thread and you could go into more depth into threads by creating multiple number of threads so that's it for this tutorial and i hope you guys understood how to use threads to make our application run more smoothly so thank you very much for watching this tutorial and i'll see you guys in the next tutorial thank you